हाय सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन अर डे वी ट्राई की हर एक दिन एक क्वेश्चन पोस्ट किया जाए एंड उसका सॉल्यूशन नेक्स्ट डे पोस्ट किया जाए सिंस ये डे वन है तो वी आर गोइंग टू पोस्ट क्वेश्चन उसका सॉल्यूशन भी मैं पोस्ट करूंगा एंड एक होमवर्क होगा तो क्वेश्चन ऑफ डे जीरो को इसको आप काउंट कर सकते हो दिस इज नॉट डे वन तो हो क्या रहा है आपके स्क्रीन पे एक क्वेश्चन है वीडियो को पॉज करो इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करो दिस इज डे जीरो क्वेश्चन सॉल्यूशन थोड़ी देर पे आपके स्क्रीन पे आएगा एंड जो कल क्वेश्चन जो होना है वो क्वेश्चन एज अ होमवर्क इस क्वेश्चन वीडियो के लास्ट में है तो पूरे सॉल्यूशन को देखना लास्ट में एक क्वेश्चन है उसको देखना और उसका आंसर आप कमेंट में पोस्ट करना जो भी पहले पांच लोग होंगे द फर्स्ट फाइव पीपल हु इज गोइंग टू पोस्ट दी आंसर ऑफ द टूमोरोज क्वेश्चन जो कि आज का होमवर्क क्वेश्चन है मैं कल के वीडियो में उनका नाम बोलूंगा एंड स्क्रीन पे उनके इमेज भी दिखना स्टार्ट हो जाएंगे तो ये रहा आपका आज का क्वेश्चन आप वीडियो को पॉज करो इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करो और थोड़ी दूर देर के बाद आपको इसका सॉल्यूशन दिखेगा एंड एट द लास्ट आपको होमवर्क दिखेगा द क्वेश्चन इज क्वाइट सिंपल आई स्टार्टेड माई टूडे जर्नी फ्रॉम हजारीबाग टू रांची सो आई स्टार्टेड माई टूडे जर्नी फ्रॉम नथिंग बट द हजारीबाग टू रांची ओके I check the first milestone. It showed Ranchi is hundred kilometer. So from here, just see Ranchi is nothing but the hundred kilometer from Hajarbag. Just assume. After forty minute, I check the another milestone. Found Ranchi is x y kilometer. So this one is the another milestone. So the Ranchi is nothing but the forty minute after this. After forty minute, I found the another milestone that is nothing but Ranchi is x y kilometer. Then after another twenty minutes, after another twenty minutes, I found another milestone that is. Y X and Ranchi is nothing but twenty minute. So we have to find my speed. The value of X Y is what? So can we say my speed is the constant throughout the journey? This is given. So what we can say? We can say the distance traveled in the forty minute and the distance traveled in the twenty minutes should be in the same ratio of the time traveled. So what do we mean by the distance traveled? So the first distance is hundred. The second distance is X Y. Can we say? If I say the Ranchi is 10 km, after some times I say the Ranchi is 8 km, the milestone. So can we say we have 2 km traveled? So here the traveled distance, say the T40 and the T20, T the time, the distance traveled in the 40 minute is nothing but the 100 minus xy. And we can't write xy as a xy because it's a milestone. So in the number formation, we just write minus. 10x plus y because x is in the tenth place and y is in the unit place. For the distance t20, this one is nothing but the xy minus yx. Again, we can't write this one, so we can write 10x plus y as the first distance minus 10y plus x as the second distance. When we solve this one, this one is nothing but 9 into x minus y. So this is a distance. And we know the distance ratio of these two should be the time ratio because the speeds are the constant. So we can say 100 minus 10x plus y and nothing but 9 into x minus y. This is nothing but 40 minute and 20 minute. So this is nothing but 2 is to 1 ratio. So we just cross multiply and solve for the integral value and solve for the integral value. We'll get the answer. Nothing else, and the integral means digit value zero to nothing but nine. So we have to do some heat and trial and solve the question. We can use the Chinese remainder theorem. But I hope the concept is clear. So our one journey is this one. Second journey is this one. We solve this question. We solve this equation and get the answer. Now how we can solve in the other method? We know we have hundred and we have x y. Then we have y x. And here the time is 40 minute. Here the time is 20 minute. So can we say the distance ratio should be the 2 is to 1 of the time ratio? We definitely know the gap of this one is nothing but 9 into x minus y, because when we interchange the digits, we are getting nothing but a multiple of 9. So just assume x minus y is nothing but 1. X minus y is nothing but 1. So when this gap is 9, this gap should be 18. So I am doing some heat and trial. Irrespective of the Chinese remainder theorem or the algebra, so I am saying x y y x. This is nothing but nine. Then I assume this one is eighteen. Then I assume this one is twenty-seven. Then thirty-six, forty-five. I find this one is easier. 
then finding any value so if this one is 9 this would be 18 can i say what would be the value 100 minus 18 is nothing but 82 so this would be 82 and this would be 28 because just a reverse but gap is not the 9 the digit gap is not the 9 so 9 is not the exact value if i take the 18 so this would be 36 100 minus 36 is 64 100 minus 30 is 64 and this one is 46 okay my god i got the answer how comes our if this one is 100 this one is 36 so we are moving 36 kilometer first than 18 kilometers rest and after moving 36 kilometer we have nothing but 64 milestone 100 minus 36 is the 64 is the milestone and 64 after moving 18 kilometer the next milestone is 46 so we have something x y and y x kilometer so what we have done we have traveled 36 is the distance in the 40 minute in the 40 minute convert 40 minute in the hour so this one is cancelled out this one is 9 so this one is nothing but the 54 kilometer per hour is my speed i am again repeating since y x y and y x is clearly visible and we know whenever we interchange the digits of a double digit number this always be multiple of 9 so i work on the heat and dry irrespective of using chinese remainder theorem or the algebra so if you have to do some heat and trial even chinese remainder theorem is more or less heat and trial algebra for the integral equation in this question is more than heat and trial so why not to use this method i hope this one is clear i know i am bit fast but i would say please divide the video try to understand the concept because this is the one of the important concept or a time and speed distance with the number system concept so be ready for such type of question in the sbi cat banking and every other examinations i think aapne aaj ke video se kuch sikha hoga definitely video thoda sa fast tha but usko rewind karo dekho to jo aapka aaj ka homework hai jo ki kal ka question of the day main solution mein discuss karunga wo aapke screen pe ye raha bahut pyara sa question hai वीडियो को पॉज करना इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करना और आंसर को कमेंट में पोस्ट करना फर्स्ट फाइव पीपल जो सही आंसर पोस्ट करेंगे उनका मैं नाम कल के वीडियो में लूंगा अलोंग विद द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन और एक नया होमवर्क आपको मिलेगा तो मैं सीखता हूं आप सीखते हैं और आगे बढ़ते हैं और एग्जाम को क्रैक करते हैं तो मिलता हूं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बहुत जल्द इसी चैनल पे चैनल को लाइक कर देना वीडियो को लाइक कर देना चैनल सब्सक्राइब कर लेना एंड टिल दैट गॉड ब्लेस यू हैप्पी लर्निंग एंड बाय बाय